Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday the 26th of uh, November. It's uh, <laughs> it's not very warm out here today. I think it's only like 40 degrees. It's been off and on sprinkling, but a uh, little woman and I are going to take a little little run to Chehalis. I'm going to take the old war wagon and go, uh, there's a couple of things we're looking at at um, Home Depot. And I think she had something else she wanted to look at as well. So uh, we're going to bounce out and do that right quick. How about that? Welcome to Saturday the 26th. I said Sunday. I apologize. All right. Let's bust her out. Check it out. It's my turned a little house into a gingerbread house. How about that? Isn't that adorable? Holy moly. Is it shopping day here in Chehalis or what? It just park a lot full of pickup trucks. Country. Hello there, Mama. So, that's actually both of these are for Kelly. No. Why'd the white balance change so weird? But yeah, this little small blower. It's not real powerful, but it's a perfect little shop thing. And then they had a sale on this orbital sander with a the new uh, M12 2.5. Amp one. Oh, I got a bunch of 1.5s. The 2.0s have been out for a bit, but I never bought anything new enough for them. But I think it's really nice. I think it's so cute. It is. Yeah. Mama got her some flowers and some lights. Yeah. Home Depot credit card. That's a dangerous thing. But you got to catch those things when it's zero interest. Yeah. Zero interest. That's we take advantage of that. <laughs> It's something we haven't done in quite a while. And we haven't been able to come in here in over two years. Of course, we haven't come here in a long time. Nice and clean. It's quiet. I love that. It's the old war wagon. I'm keeping an eyeball on it. Don't want nobody taking my stuff. <laughs> Boy, they can sure get into something quick and get out, can't they? Kind of doomy and gloomy, but it's just a light mist here. Hmm. So, so Kelly and I, we've been home for about three hours now. It's almost eight o'clock. I think it's around five when we got back. Pretty sure it was. Um. Anyway, I've been goofing off and stuff. So I thought, well, let me just, you know, upload the storage what what I've taken for the day. And so when I do that, I throw it into well this thing I've got, and it tells me what my total time is, total number of files, and and uh, by default, when you dump them in there, they just start playing. So I just kind of, I just kind of clip through them, you know, unless there's one I want, one to pay attention to, there's nothing like that today. Where I'm just kind of do it, letting it play for a few seconds, and then uh, fast forward to the next file. Well, there's about four files that have no audio. Why, out of the clear blue nowhere, the audio comes back when Kelly and I are at the Red Apple there in Toledo. No earthly idea. Got a sound bar thing off to the side. You can see if it's hearing and, you know, it's, you just get used to doing stuff and you don't look at your camera when you're using it, you know. But anyway, a bunch of lost footage. I won't even go over what it was, so we don't. But <laughs> being at Red Apple is not going to make a lot of sense because the clip prior to that's gone. Anyway, just uh, Kelly just needed a couple of things, and she decided, you know, well, in case we don't go anywhere tomorrow, do you mind stopping? She goes, oh, I can just go. I said, well, if we don't go anywhere, then you're going to feel like you have to go somewhere because you need to get this thing from Red Apple. So anyway, we stopped there. So I'm going to start you back off with uh us there at the red apple i think it's a, i think that's the only clip before me talking to you now so maybe that won't make any sense either but who cares <laughs> here we go did you get the missing stuff you you required i did all right you ready to go home i'm ready to go all right home. all right <laughs> <laughs> so back at the task at hand can you believe that that's a blower in that little tiny box? Do you guys remember when I went to uh, 
Home Depot and I picked up that Milwaukee blower that I still yeah, I use that thing to death. And the big old box it was in, I had it strapped across the uh, the back of the Sea to Sky. And we did a little loop over the hill of the Barking Dog. When I was coming back down, there's that one turn. I just love that little turn. I stopped and took the took the thumbnail of it. But yeah, she's always going, it'd be nice if I had a little blower. So I showed her, showed her this little rigid one at work that uh, the owner's son, he goes, well, here you use because everybody kept taking my gas-powered one, you know. And when it rains out, I do not like putting a wet bike on my bench, so I blow them off. And uh, well, it's very powerful. I think it's 100 mile per hour of wind. I don't remember what the CFMs were or anything like that, but, I mean, it was good enough. It works, and it's... Low power enough, you can't hurt nothing. You know, you can, you can do some damage with a leaf blower or something like that, drying your, your bike off. You can push water in places it does, it should not be, you know. But, um, anyway, um, I like that little small one. It works. I started looking at that particular one, but good lord, by the time you get the batteries and stuff, you have one expensive setup. Already got a bunch of M12 batteries and stuff. I, I am really a fan of the M12s. They don't last as long as the M18s, you know, that have way more power and stuff. But, you know, I even got a M12 impact wrench here at home that pretty much does whatever I need. So both of these are M12s. This one, as I'm sure that clip was there, is this new um, high power 2.5. It's some little tiny, you know, that looks like a little thing that goes into the grip. And they got some with the square. But anyway, those are just uh, the ones I have and have always had are 1.5 amp. These are 2.5s. So, anyways, crack these things open. See, let's see what this is all about. All right, so I cut the tape and the little, pulled the little lock tabs off on each of these things. I'm not smart enough to rig something up. Oh, if anybody's wondering, the little vacuum is a Milwaukee number 0852-20. And this kit, which I don't know if you're going to go for the kit model or not, is 2531-21HO. I think the HO stands for high output. The normal little flyer and... Um, instruction. This is a little flat blower wand thing for flat surfaces, I guess. And then it has an extension tube. And then it has this nice rubber nozzle, which is great for like drying off things that you may bump and scratch. <laughs> And then you got the tool itself. The engine. Look how small that thing is. It's tiny. How cool. Here she is assembled with the extension tube and that hard plastic flat nozzle on there. I would imagine for using it more like a broom. It's got two speeds slow position and a fast position and it has a um, a variable speed trigger and this is not a fuel version this is a brushed motor that's probably why you get it so cheap too but let me show you the setup that it'll probably be 90 percent of the time this i guarantee you how it's going to be used I like that rubber end on it. <laughs> so if you do the math, this is only a 1.3 amp battery. Man, I'm surprised these things work so well. I even have an impact gun over there that's an M12. And dude, I have no problems zapping things off with that. So you can actually hear the brushes. You'll hear, if you guys use electric motors, it has a whine. Yeah, eat. 
It's got the battery meter like all Milwaukee stuff does. So that's full speed in the low mode. Oh, <laughs> my finger was holding the trigger. And this is speed number two, high speed. Oh, that works pretty good. And I would imagine, I can almost guarantee it, it'll, it'll have more speed with the extension on there. <laughs> is that cute as a bug's ear or what? How handy. Kelly will use the heck out of this thing, I guarantee you. For her little projects, cleaning up her little wood chips and stuff like that. Well, let's set that aside. Let's dig into this one. This may not be a one-hand operation. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's a kit, so it's got the bag and everything. Might not be able to lose the box. There we go. And it goes upside down. So let me unzip this right quick. <laughs> Size it, I think. Oh, yeah. With the, just the single M12 charger. Here's that fancy new two and a half. Oh, of course, it's taped up. You see the 2.5 amp. There's the tool. Let me, uh, let me grab this thing out of here. Good Lord, it comes with all kinds of little extra the little pads and stuff. Heck yeah. Hold tight. So this is that new high output 2.5. It's uh, it's only half full, so I'm not going to run it. I like to charge them first. And uh, like I say, doing the math, this is a 1.33. I thought they were just, they probably referred to them as a 1.5. It's like the 20 amp batteries. None of them are 20. <laughs> they're, they're 18s. But Milwaukee calls them 18s on the M18s. Anyway, what a nice tool. And this thing's orbiting. Look, it's got four speeds even. But you're supposed to, I don't want you kind of dry running them. But uh, we'll just see what she sounds like here. I'll put the older, smaller battery in it. Oh, look at that. Light came on immediately. But you hear, you just hear the motor running. You don't hear that E, you don't hear the brush, brushes. But you got one, two, try. Look at that, four speeds. Can you guys see how that thing how it moves? Pretty cool, huh? And I'm not, I'll have to read into it, but it looks like it's got like an additional plate you can put on here. And this is like harder rubber. And I think this is one for doing um, more fine finish stuff because it will have some flex to it. And then the paper, oh, I just stuck those together, didn't I? And it's this mesh stuff that they use. It's not regular sandpaper. It's wild, huh? And I guess it was, it just goes forever until it, you finally wear it out. They say, don't don't throw them away. Just keep re reusing them. And it's got, I think, 80 to... What was that? 180? I thought it was finer than that. I thought they had like a 3 or 600 or something. I don't know. That's all they... There's 120. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, they had, uh, Home Depot didn't have any more of those, but it sounds like they last quite a while, so I'm not too worried about it. How about that? That's some cool stuff. That little woman will get some grand entertainment out of this. Oh, the charger has its own serial number. Should probably keep all that, huh? I generally register these things. They usually have, I don't know, five-year lifetime or whatever their warranty is. I think Milwaukee's five years. But that's M M12 specifically. I got these chargers all over the place. 
Oh, we got tools down there. We got tools for the tools? Yeah, one tool. Allen wrench. Oh, that must take. Yeah. Very cool. She's been using that Harbor Freight Bower one, the little square thing. And um, she was talking about something. She goes, it'd be really nice if I could get down in these little things. And I seen this. I remember her talking about that. And I said, done. So I surprised her with that today. She knew about the the blower. That probably just looks like the camera's blurring, huh? I think it's really cool. She'll have a good time with that. Anyway, there's my, my tool talk talk thing for today. <laughs> I get battery on the charger. That doesn't have to specifically be charged with this. No, that looks like the old one. I got some things laying around in boxes from tools. But anyway, thanks for uh, hanging out. I'm sorry I lost some clips. I didn't lose them. There's just no audio. There's no point in playing them. So anyway, I'm going to bounce on that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. It's like 35 degrees out here, which shockingly feels warm. Yeah. When it's in the 20s and stuff at night. But um, it's uh, windy out here. We get a little gusts here every once in a while, so it'll probably affect our recording here. But I guess there's some crazy storm coming. Yeah. Feet of snow up, up in the mountain passes and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And the wind, rain, and snow. Yeah. Wintertime and the... Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although it was supposed to rain all day today and it was just light, misty. It was kind of off and on this morning. Uh, I don't know. It was just mist from there. There's one of them guys. Woo! Mm -hmm. Now that's got a bite to it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cold. cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Mama's got herself some new uh, new tools for, for wood stuff. And yeah. There's... Blowing the chips around, make a big mess. Oh, yeah, there's projects to be had. <laughs> yeah, I think those are pretty cool. Those Milwaukee stuff. I, I found, you know, the um, the buffer I got when I dropped the street glide and scratched it? There's like three batteries inside there. Oh, yeah. Large ones, like, you know, five and six amp for the M12s. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you blow that blower for a long time with them bigger batteries on yeah. there. That's crazy. I guess the them little tiny, the 1.5 amps will go like seven, seven and a half minutes, something like that. And I don't know what the 2.5 will do or the bigger ones. Probably probably a bit. Enough. Mm -hmm. It's just a little quick stuff. A little shop cleanup kind of thing. Yeah. Perfect for mama's little crafty stuff. Yes. Nice stuff. Yeah. Roll on that. I think we're going to roll on out. Probably go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. Till tomorrow. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching now. <laughs> Bye-bye.